Hello and welcome to another Adobe Live from the Sofa here in the UK, where you will find us between 12 and 1 every weekday. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, that's just fine. But the discussion takes place on behance.net slash Adobe Live. And it's where you can get involved with the community in the chat and ask questions. So if you're looking at YouTube and seeing a chat thing there, that's not the chat you're looking for. You're looking for the one on Behance. So today we have another fabulous guest with us and we have Emmy Smith, perhaps better known as Emmy Lupin. Emmy, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Happy yeah. to be here. Yeah. We are happy to have you here. That's fantastic. So if you've got questions for Emmy, the place to ask them, of course, is in the Behance chat. And I can pose those questions to Emmy as we go along. So for people who've never come across you um, before, Emmy, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you? What do you do? Where you come from? <laughs> oh, well, where to begin? Um, so I'm Emmy Smith. Um, my business name, I guess, will be known as Emmy Lupin Studio. And I'm an illustrator. Um, I guess I illustrate mainly women. Um, I love a pattern and a colour. And yeah, so a lot of kind of female empowerment, but also more recently things like social scenes and yeah, just kind of life in general. Um, I have mainly worked um, in terms of illustration in like publishing and editorial and then also just creating like prints and postcards and stuff really. Oh, cool. A little bit, little bit about me. Cool. And, and where can uh, where can people see uh, your work? Where's the best place? I mean, obviously in Instagram and Tim will no doubt. Yeah add that link so instagram yes. you are uh emmy lupin studio isn't that right yeah that is right yeah and then my website is just emmylupin.com fantastic and on there you can find all about my work and a bit about me and all bits and bobs like that excellent so maybe we could actually is there a chance we could have a look at some of that now have you got some you can switch to so we can yeah. see yeah yeah so yeah so this is my website um and i guess on here is I think kind of a mixture of, um, you know, paid work and, and personal work. Cause I think as an illustrator, that's super important. You know, you want to yeah. be getting the jobs that you want to do. So you want to do the personal work to get those jobs you want to do. So yeah, so on here is a bit about my work. Some things on here are for a kind of, I did a lockdown diary in the beginning of lockdown. Um, so you'll see like the staying calm in a crisis on the left, it won't be too long. On the right, they were both part of kind of a lockdown series that I did, which people s tended to like, which was really nice. Um, yeah, other bits and bobs on here. Some different kind of work that I've done. This one on the right was a, a like a big part, big thing for me last year that I was um, commissioned to illustrate Reese Witherspoon for her birthday. Oh, wow. Oh, so March 22nd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you know this? <laughs> yeah. She shares a birthday with me and William Shatner. Really? <laughs> yeah. So what's her birthday for her? Um, yeah, her publishing, um, publishing production company. Yeah. Yeah, but there you go. That cool. was pretty cool. And yeah, bits and other bits on here. Nottingham map. I'm from Nottingham, so always has my heart. Yeah. yeah there you go. Mine too. Other bits and bobs there. So yeah, this is my website, and. And then also, I guess on here, um, so I guess part of, I do a lot of freelance illustration and then also it's kind of a natural thing, I think, for illustrators and artists to mm. want to, you know, people to have their things on their walls. So I started, I actually started out by opening an Etsy shop and it mm. all kind of grew from there really. Um, mm. So yeah, there's like postcards and prints on I there as well. that's the modern way to survive really, isn't it? Because yeah. Back exactly. in the day, you'd have, you know, if you don't, in fact, if you don't do that even now, um, but of course, a while back, it wasn't even an option, but yeah. that means you've got at least some kind of revenue stream because it mm. is, illustration can be a bit feast or famine, can't it? it yeah. You know. And it, yeah, exactly. And I think as well with things like producing work like this, it mm. means you get to do what you want to do. You know, I yeah. produce work that I would want to put on my wall. And then in general, in terms of my career, started out with that and then I started to get client commissions kind of from this so yeah. 
it kind of worked really well. And now it's like really nice to have the balance between the two, between doing client work and also doing stuff for kind of myself, but then it ends up that other people have liked it as well. So that, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. you've, got, you've got postcards on there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And people often, I think, buy them and send them to people or they'll buy them and put them in frames. A lot of people like to send me pictures, which is really lovely. Um, mm. I had one recently where someone sent me a picture of their cat had like next to the postcards, which, you know, always appreciate that. Oh, that's awesome. That's really, and I love cats, yeah. by the way. <laughs> you a cat person or a dog person or both? Oh, it's really difficult. I think I'm a bit of both. Yeah. I think I'm a bit of both. That's cool. I used to be like solely a cat person and then... And then I was, thought I was solely a dog person, so I think maybe a bit both in the end. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. have any? Do you have any pets? Do you have them? I don't personally, but my parents have three dogs, and we used to have a cat, but then she left home. Aww. She moved into someone else's house. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I prefer their salmon, and I'm away now. Bye-bye. Literally, yeah, I'm still caught up about it, but she decided yeah. she didn't want to live with us anymore. She just moved down the road. They so. sometimes come back, you know. Oh, no, I see her on the street. I've tried to bring her back into the house, but she's having none of it. Yeah. She's straight I'm out sorry. the back door. Until you go to Sainsbury's Finest, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're obviously feeding us some better food. Mm. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. I noticed on here... That, so I saw on your Instagram um, the book there, The Philosopher mm. Queens. Yes. Uh, tell us a bit about that, because that's a new thing for you, isn't it? Yeah, so that is um, a book I worked on I think it was majority of maybe last year, but yeah, super lovely project. So I think women, there's never been a book written about women in philosophy. And I think all of, you know, when you think about philosophers, you think of men oh, from guys. a very long time ago. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah. this was started by two um, students actually who were, who were studying philosophy. And in the end it came out so, it's I think it's 20 chapters 20 female philosophers and each chapter is written by a different woman in philosophy and I illustrated um a portrait for each of those women and I think what was really nice about the brief was some of these women there was you know from before times of photography um there was no photos of them so I had to kind of depict them in illustration imagine how they would be imagine how they would have looked um which was like a super exciting part of the brief, and there were, and it's so there's so it's so diverse as well, which I really really liked um, in terms of different types of women, and yeah, so that I illustrated each woman and then worked with the company on the cover as well, and that was actually meant to be out in June, but it got pushed back to September, oh, right, um, okay. which you know, so they can do I guess so they can do like a bit of a tour or things like that, but. Yeah, it was super exciting. And then recently as well, they have released the Angela Davis chapter as open source. So you, with in terms of the um, kind of Black Lives Matter movement, so you can read that as an educational resource, which I think is really nice as well. Cool. So yeah, there was some really lovely, a really lovely project. And mm. I hope that it, you know, I think it's already getting quite a lot of traction in terms of being the first book about women in philosophy. So yes, yeah, and lovely project for me to work so on. So cool. Well. Um, Julia's actually saying, hi, Julia, by the way. Uh, Julia's uh, saying, I love Hannah Arendt as a mm. philosopher. Is she in there? She is. Yeah? Fine. Yeah, Hannah Fantastic. Arendt. Oh, do you know why? I'm going to zoom in on this cover and she's on the cover. Uh, yeah, she's the bottom left. <laughs> there uh, you yeah, go. She is in there. She is in there. Isn't yeah. that dreadful, right, that we've had nothing, that this is the first book mm. about female philosophers? Yeah, it is crazy, it really is. And, you know, there's some, I have to say, I didn't know much about philosophy before I read this book, but, it, you know, there's some amazing stuff in there and it's it's stuff that's been out in the world. You know, these writers have been writing things, some of it's from, you know, BC times and, yeah, it's never, yeah. never been written. That's not just... Obviously, it's been written about, but not in the kind of mainstream. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a great illustration of the hegemonic structure of societies in the modern world, isn't it, really, that, that none of that pops up. But, no. Mm. But, yeah, it's, um, at least, you really know, it's getting cool. out there now. And I think it's a, you know, it's, um, I feel very proud to be part of it. And I think also the editors, um, Lisa and Rebecca, did an amazing job and of, of getting everything together and really promoting the book. So it got... It's had quite a lot of traction. So, so that's Looking like Im- imminent now. Then. Yeah, September, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think you could, I think it had like a pre-order system. I think some people could be receiving them early, but it'll be like in shops from September. 
that's cool well catherine uh yeah. is saying uh, she'll be definitely be getting the book uh so that's good actually i ought to say hello to some of our uh yes. people in the chat so let's just have a moment to seeing who we've got with us so because so many people here emmy join every day mm. um and also uh, beyond the stream we have uh we have our own discord and people talk on discord and it's really lovely when i go on there and when anybody goes on there to see that people are chatting throughout the day they talk immediately afterwards about the stream so tim will put the link for that in the chat if he hasn't already uh, so we've got our lovely emma here we've got kirsty we've got jackie uh, we've got sandrine andreas hello andreas uh we've got richard hi richard we've got carrie we've got oliver uh christopher i don't think i've seen christopher before so hi christopher and welcome uh caroline is here caroline as i said uh, looking forward to your book i think uh or maybe that was catherine actually is also here robert yeah julia's here from uh, julia is uh, the host and my friend uh, fabulous illustrator herself actually from germany she's here emma who i've already mentioned yes yeah, so plenty in here and uh, they are very much enjoying the cat conversation <laughs> By the way, can you hear the rain from outside? Can you I hear it? I think I can a little bit, actually. It is absolutely teeming it's down. It's not actually rain here just yet. <laughs> Sorry, it was rain. really hard to hear just then. <laughs> uh, it was really, really loud. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so these are the people. Hmm. So don't forget people to ask your questions. That way we can put them to Emmy as we're yeah. going along. So Happy. please continue. So, sorry. Right. <laughs> so what else will you be showing us today? What else will I be showing you today? This is the question, really. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess in terms of, I'm trying to think of other work I can talk about or other okay. things I can mention before we get into the um, into of the drawing. Course. So, other work, other work, other things. I'm just going to go through here. It's kind of good to just browse through. Will you um, yeah. your your corrupt your lockdown um, My lockdown diary stuff. Yeah. Have you got enough of that to put into some sort of printed form? Because there's quite a few of those about at the moment. There is quite a few of those. Yeah, I mean, it was quite, it was a weird thing. I think I started, you know, in the beginning of lockdown, I was like, oh, you know, it'd be really nice to do an illustrated diary. And then I did loads in the beginning. And then you get that kind of like creative wall hit that I, I think everyone kind of got to and everything yeah. seems to get a little bit more mundane than it did kind of novelty. Um but yeah, definitely. Do you know what's, what is frustrating is I had it, I've changed my website recently and I had it on kind of a project and I'm still building this website at the moment. So I don't have it all together on a project at the moment. It's all kind of on the homepage. Right. Because um, I don't know if you've seen it uh, anywhere, but there's a guy called Vic Lee who's done a... Yes, I have. Mine, mine arrived today, actually this morning, just before I came in, mm. I got a chance to have a quick look at it. Um, it's fabulous. Really fabulous. Really? There's I... a few out there. I love, yeah, super, super talented human. Yeah. Um, but yep. yeah, to be fair, there is quite, I have actually got quite a lot. I think yeah. what I look, like always try and do is kind of, even if it's illustrating, you know, something that is a bit more of a, you know, not fun subject, like still try and inject quite a lot of colour and pattern so it feels like energetic in a way. Yeah. Which is kind of what I try to do with all of the lockdown stuff. Um, what else can I talk about? I'm trying to think. I no, I'm just, no, 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 it's all good. So I, sh I should be asking you things, really. It's just, I just love the colour in your Yeah, work. it's not a colour. There's a lot of It's rolling there. in front of me. And I've, I know, I've I'm just seen it before. Down, really. so, yeah. Um, other cool things happened recently is, you see here on um, the blue posts. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, what's happened? Oh, no. Don't worry. Interesting. Oh, here we go. I won't <laughs> zoom in. I think it's because it's responsive. So the blue post that you'll see there, we did, um, there's a really nice initiative called Keep Pubs Pumping, which a lot of other illustrators have worked for. Um, there's actually a friend of mine started it, but they are producing merchandise to keep pubs kind of going, going. in yeah. lockdown. So all of the proceeds from those go to those pubs, which is That's a really cool. lovely project to be part of as well. Yeah. I guess they are opening soon, but you know, this, yeah. was, this was back in the day. Julia, um, by the way, loves the map of knots. Oh, thanks, Julia. Yeah. Do you know what? This is one of these things I've been meaning to do for so long. It's been on my list of kind of things. And I've been meaning since to do like um, maps of other cities, but I just I know Nottingham so well. So this one was kind of like my favourite places there. Um, 
which I am going to do some more. Yeah. If anyone got any requests? Let me know. But I'll need. There's some a great. Help. <laughs> I mean, there's a great. Actually, there's actually a great map illustration community mm. uh, around and about. Yeah. This. Somebody uh, I know uh, called Sarah Bell in the US. Um, she creates maps of uh, cities in various different styles. Um, she's just done Oslo, I think. Oh, nice. Uh, so, yeah. But I kind of, I like the pictorial style Yeah. this one. Yeah. Really, so really lovely. I think as well, like I tried to put all kind of like my favourite independents in there and things like that. Mm. And it's, you know, drawing the map is difficult because I wanted it to be, you know. Reasonably accurate. On. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's like getting you know get looking on google maps where all the streets are and then translating it over to the map um it's yeah it's no yeah. mean feat it's no mean feat but no, it's, it's a lovely um nice feeling in the end to know that you've that you've done it i love to think a lot of these people a lot of people have this nottingham map on their wall like what a, what a treat I'm you know it treat. is lovely yeah i might get one for in here you know because i do miss <laughs> nottingham <laughs> i really do I have got one that isn't pink. If that, if if pink's not your. Color. No, 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 pink's not you a like problem for me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't have those uh, those old school associations. <laughs> no, <I'm> but <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's good. Oh, a pink one and a green one. I like them both. To be fair, I yeah. think I have the green one on my one. Um, yeah. So I guess on this page, kind of the watch your posture top left was lockdown diary. Yeah. The book list was lockdown diary. Staying calm in a crisis. Yes. It won't be too long. A lot of these on the home page when you look at it. Are still part of that what, things that we yeah. were struggling with in lockdown. No, they, no sorry, I, I missed the thing just now. It's the noise outside. Oh, Definitely, no, the um, yeah. don't worry at all. The uh, no, no, so where do you get your color inspiration from? Do you kind of plan at the beginning? Do you use something to pick colors or? So I guess. Um, it's a weird one because I think I've had a similar colour palette in my work for quite a long time and I more recently have tried to move towards a kind of warmer palette. Um, I don't know, I think I always have these kind of colour combinations that I like, you know, like pink and green or like purple and yellow. Like, I don't know, there's all, often some combinations which I like and I work from a similar colour palette normally. Um, tend to just we just we just go with it make it up as we go really yeah and do you know what's really nice is um on uh, capture you can take a photo and it will get the colors for you so, absolutely yeah. Oh, I've so, used that. Yeah. yeah so it's really nice sometimes to take pictures of like flowers and get the colors from that and i think that's a really nice kind of I just like doing that in general, I think, even yeah. if it's not for use in my oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's nice it's to see. Nice. Like yeah, yeah, things. yeah. Um, yeah. But I think, yeah, in terms of colour, I gen tend to work off a similar palette, and I probably have done for years. Um, but, you know, I went to the, I was obviously not closed now, before Christmas in London, they had a Bridget Riley exhibition, which I was went to. Was that HOI? Was that, oh, was it, it was, HOI? I don't think that one was it. No? I'm glad I can't remember. No, no. I can't remember, but mm. I look at that now and I think I've got like a print in my, mm. um, where I work and it's, you know, looking at that, I'm like, yeah, I can see that I maybe have drawn inspiration from that in the past and I didn't even realise. Um, but yeah, I guess it's colour and then like I'm big on pattern. I think I, and that's kind of what I want to work through a little bit today um, yeah. when we're working on the drawing is like, what kind of, you know, what can we put in there that's pattern? Do you ever use capture for that, by the way, do you ever? I used it a little bit. But yeah. I find it easier to draw, just, just go yeah. with it, um, mm. or in, it's not as uniform. But I think it's nice, actually. Sometimes you have the uniform pattern, sometimes you'll have something that isn't, mm. and that's the contrast between that. Um, but yeah, I think actually, sometimes it's like you need to lay off the pattern. Like, I don't need to have a pattern in absolutely everything. Um, <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I like well it. I mean, loads of people are loving the colours. So Christopher saying the colours are splendid. Uh, Carola saying love the colours. Vanessa saying it works very inspiring. Uh, Steve is hazarding a guess that this is fresco on iPad. I think he's probably right. He is correct. Um, and straight after that, what's Caroline saying? What software do you use, Emmy? So, what what do you use? Is it is it all fresco or a bit fresco or? Yeah. So I guess it is mainly fresco. I mean, I. I guess I'm part of a new, a bit of a weird one with illustration for me because I didn't study illustration um, mm. or anything really to do with 
um, that was something that was creative, even though I would always have considered myself as such, I didn't actually study anything mm. like that. And I worked in design agencies for, you know, a long, you know, about five years um, mm. as an account manager. And I never saw myself as a designer. And I think often like, you know, going and using Illustrator would have been really intimidating for me as a new skill to learn, whereas Presco um, and, you know, earlier versions of drawing apps on the iPad um, mm. really spoke to me in terms of like, I can just be drawing here and it's digital instead of feeling like I need to learn a new skill. And yeah. that felt like a bit of a barrier. Um, whereas now in this new digital age, um, yeah. I can just draw straight onto the iPad and it's amazing. And that has mm. been such a, that's basically, you know, really helped me in terms of having a career in illustration. And, you know, you can do, you can do it as long as you can, you can like, test and learn and practice, then it, it will work. So, yeah, I predominantly use that. I'll work on, obviously, I'll like sketch or something initially, um, maybe take a photo, import it into, let's go and go from there. So It makes it really easy to do that, right? Because yeah. Because you can just go ahead and... Yeah. bring in that image from wherever and just use it as a reference if you need to or yeah yeah and you know you're on the go or you can be doing it sometimes even I'll be you know coloring in in front of the tv and that you know I like doing that as a, as a, as a wind down it's quite nice and it's strange to think oh, I can be working but I can be sitting here but it's not years that's what my kids thought I did for a job <laughs> coloring yeah. in coloring in oh I get that from my my dad my dad, he's like, oh, I well, you know, your little sister could do that. Well, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I oh, know. quite funny. Oh, no. People have no idea. No. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> oh, go on then, feel free. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so in terms of software, it would be, yeah, it would be Presco. Like earlier, you know, Adobe Draw was one. And yeah. I guess as well, like I tend to work in Pixel. I don't really work in Vector unless I had a project that required it. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's just what yeah. works better for me. Yeah, so it's Photoshop, Sketch, and uh, Draw, which of course yeah. are still around. St they're both still around mm -hmm. um, and until Fresco comes across, I guess, until mm. onto uh, Android devices, of course. Then oh yeah, of course, probably yeah. be there for a while. But it's the, sure. Uh, but um, no, Fresco is yeah. super exciting. It is. The fact it that is. it's that hybrid is lovely. Yeah, definitely. You know, easy as well to. She's very intuitive. Yeah. Um, yeah would also recommend getting a paper like cover and anyone that uses an ipad i've had that since i very first bought it and it is super helpful it makes you feel like you're tapping on screen they are really good they're actually quite difficult to, so i got a second ipad uh the other week and i've actually got to put the paper like on it today so but mm. that involves getting a nice steamy Oh. Um, bathroom and the time to do it so you eliminate all of those dust particles yeah. as you, you know yourself yeah the, um uh but uh they are hard to get hold of at the minute oh really they are hard to get hold of yeah see i just i had mine actually when I'm, i was st still working back in nottingham yeah um at the very beginning of my kind of illustration journey and my creative director at the agency i worked at gave it to me and put it on for me so i actually have never done it <laughs> it's still there now <laughs> It's, yeah, I mean, it, it, the, the key is in that. I mean, it, obviously when you're actually using the shower and the room, it's probably not the best time to do it anyway, but it just is that, that you set aside some time to do it. Now, normally, if I'm refreshing something like that, I'd do it in a hotel because they've got a nice big counter in hotels oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, to use. So it makes it really easy to do. Um, but at the no, moment, of course, nobody's in hotels. No, so no. It's, it's, it's not off the menu. Be. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, indeed, indeed. Yeah, you need to make it a time when it's not going to be in use by anybody else either. So it's just, you know. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. The difficulties. There you are. Very first world problems, though, to be uh, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, okay. there we are. Let's just have a quick look at. Uh, so I did see a reference. Oh, Catherine was saying there's a bit of uh, William Morris like wallpaper going on in here. Like it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, let's just see. People were talking about cats earlier, by the way, and saying that. Of course. Sometimes cats leave at home. No. Yeah, but sometimes no. you can tempt them back. Uh, it's the three dogs, I think, that drove her out, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. What dogs are they? I'm just, uh, I'm always curious about people's pets. <laughs> they are. Do you know what's hilarious? If they, we had a little, um, what is he, Patterdale Terrier called Mr. Jones. Yeah. He is. And then we got 
um, Bizzler and a, yeah. oh, what's the brown version of the Bizzler, like a hound. Um, right. So we've got the two I, I kind of, yeah. kind of um, posh dogs and then our little Mr. Jones like terrier running around. So they're quite a motley crew to be fair. Um, but yeah, so that's, yeah, with, with at my mum's house in Knotts and we'd had our cat for about 10 years. She didn't like the dog, so she just decided she had enough. So now, we still see her on the street, apparently. Yeah. I haven't seen her in a while, but yeah, sometimes yeah. they come back, but sometimes they're like, you know what? No. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just going to go in here. The salmon's better. Yeah. yeah. No, I've had enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Absolutely. Well, you, can't, you can't blame him, can you? Yeah. Um, Richard, by the way, and Richard uh, said, I particularly like the gold, dark, bluey green on the Philosopher Queens. Mm. I wouldn't be able to resist picking that up in a bookshop. That's a good sign. That's a great sign. That is a great, great gold sign. Gold foil. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. pretty nice, got to say. Yeah. Um, do you plan your... So Christopher's asking uh, and saying, he when he draws for himself, his colour happens as he go. Just uh, do you plan beforehand or do you just build as you go do you see where it takes you yeah I think I build as I go so I tend to I tend to work almost from the inner side out so I'll always do the background last mm. and you know on something like I'm trying to think on something where I've got a lot of color going on so kind of like mm. the ones where there's um the group of people, people with the drinks yeah. so there I think I would always just work from a, a general colour palette that I have and, yeah, kind of work on piece by piece and then the background basically comes last because there's probably enough colour going on in the meantime. But no, I never really plan it out. Mm. I think, no. But it's always but probably because I tend to work on something similar. Um, I sometimes will think, oh, you know, I need to inject, I need to work on something new because everything's looking a bit samey and maybe, you know, I don't have, often have a lot of blue in my work, but you're looking at this now and you can see a few different bits of blue there, but that's will be more conscious decision. Um, or like I've started to work with this like warmer green that I just love and now I'm looking at all my work's got this it's warm everywhere. green in it. In <laughs> fact, that'll be in the, yeah, the um, illustration work on today. It's like nice warm green. Yeah. But no, never a plan, never a plan. I think I often kind of look through maybe like my Instagram and I'll go back sometimes to old work that I've done and see what colours I was using there and maybe if I should bring that back or how it's mm. changed. Um, but no, never. Just how it changed. I've kudos to those that do because uh, my mind just doesn't work like that. I know no. often if I was working on maybe a client project, I would tend to plan it a little bit more, but yeah. Otherwise, yeah, because there'll be things along. that they'll want to sit that, that yeah. go well with their brand and exactly whatever that. else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sandrine is asking, and I think I know the answer to this, but I'm not entirely sure. Have you ever tried to have your patterns printed on fabric? Did I see some fabric print in your shop? No. no. Do you know what? It's This is actually something I'm thinking of doing. Yeah. Um, there's a pattern it's not on here. But most fun, but no, I have mocked some up. Maybe that's why you might have seen it, but I have been thinking about that. I would love to have some... Um, patterns printed onto fabric and made into various things but not as of yet i think that will no. be the next step one for the love future to do that. yeah I'd love yeah, to. yeah yeah um siobhan is asking what inspires your ideas oh big question that i think it's a strange one because i think i'm kind of inspired by you know just things that happen in life and I have a list on my phone like on my notes of like when things come to me and I write it down in my notes under just like an ideas list and then I'll come back to that when I'm sitting and thinking oh I'm gonna sit to do some drawing um but you know general inspiration just comes from you know the, the way I live my life the way my friends do the way my parents do um other illustrators I'm always super inspired by I think there's an amazing illustration community and you know i looked at other illustrators work and think amazing How are you an aoi yeah. member just out of interest i am yeah, yeah. i am yeah, yeah and can't recommend that enough i think yeah. i've been an aoi member since the very first started out really mm -hmm. um who are super super helpful in all matters business and yeah. community really all, all yeah good. definitely yeah. um but yeah inspired by you know books films art in general but I would say more like kind of normal life and that's what I try and get
get into my illustrations so people can resonate with them and you know see themselves in it a little bit or feel inspired by it themselves and you know that's what I try and get across really mm. Tricky nice. one. I think I often get asked that question and it's always really hard to think because yeah, sometimes it, it, ideas just come to you, don't they? They do. They do. Yeah. That would be another thing to, oh, do you know, it's one of the things I would like to see added to capture would be yeah. some sort of notebook <laughs> so you could drop things in in a visual yeah. way in there. But um, yeah. maybe, I should, maybe I should pass that on to the team. Maybe whatever. You need um, like an ideas bank, yeah. You do, yeah. Um, Julia is saying, Emmy, don't shut up and take my money. <laughs> Which oh, thanks, really Julia. Nice. How kind. There you go. So, oh. uh, the, uh, Gareth is saying the graphics department that he worked in was known as the colouring in department. Ah, oh, yeah. Departments, <laughs> they just know, never know, do they? Don't be diminished to that. Yeah. Uh, Christopher saying that uh, he was using Fresco on the train the other day. That's one of the great things about it, of yeah. course. It's so portable. Oh, my God. Um, Love working on the train. When I used yeah. to get the train, I would dedicate train time to like drawing time with it un uninterrupted and you can't beat it really yeah nice. uh, actually julia's been shopping on your shop already oh julia uh, <laughs> thank you so much oh i'm excited to see what there you go you yeah see what you bought yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely um jackie feels like she's cheating using her ipad oh uh, i'm not sure if that's in answer to somebody else but it says i feel like i'm cheating using that it's not cheating no, and I think you've got to get past that because yeah. I used to think the same. You know, I can't, you know, I don't use, I don't use Illustrator or Photoshop and really, like, I, you know, I do if I, if I have to, if it's for, a, again, for a client project or something like that. But you shouldn't feel like you're cheating because you're still producing the work and that's, that's, you know, that's all. Of course it's not cheating. And, that's you know, you've got to, you know, you've you got to get past that because it can only, it will only, you know, stop you from doing what you want to do so no actually oh, oliver no. raises a good point here in in uh in response to that original question uh in that artists thought cameras were cheating despite the <laughs> fact that some of the classic a lot of classic paintings used camera obscura yeah so they would sit in a box with a hood over the top with a tiny hole in the front and work on a uh, yeah. on a reversed image. So camera obscura was used in a lot of classic art. Um, but artists thought cameras were cheating. Then film photographers thought digital cameras were cheating. Yeah. So it's just a sign of evolving technology yeah. and resistance to that technology. It's uh, I 100% agree with that. And I think that's a very good point. You know, a very, very good point. Yeah. Do what works and for you. It's that's absolutely. all it is. Absolutely. And Hockney paints on an iPad. So he does. You know. I have I saw that. I saw his yeah. in Australia, I saw he did a whole exhibition on things he painted on his iPad. Yeah. And that's fine. If it's good enough for Hockney, it's good enough for me. I mean it's art, right? You're making it's a message. Art. You're you're making a message yeah. and asking people to decode it's that message. How you do it. Does the me yeah. How important is the medium? You know, yes. that's that's the thing. Exactly. Unless you're trying to show how clever you are with, with oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In which case, still get some important. oil paints on fresco. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, and so and then and the other. Have you tried the mixer brushes yet? By the way, mixer brushes. Oh, I don't know. There's a mixer brush set in there now, and there's also. Um, have you seen the multicolor swatches? No. Yeah, so you can do multicolor samples now. Oh, dreamy. And which means that you might find that really interesting. Um, I mean, obviously, don't try now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, that would. <laughs> Just have a look at that. There's a tiny little movie on the um, Adobe website that shows oh, how yeah. to do it. I think you might find that really exciting with some of your patterns, you know. Oh, that's, yeah, that is exciting. Yeah. Just as I love, it's always so much to learn, and then I'm like, get excited. I'm like, so much I can do. It's exciting. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking that some of your organic yeah. um, plant form things, so just imagine you yeah. drew a section of a plant. In fact, that's one of the things on there. You drew yeah. a section of a plant. You could then multicolor sample that and then paint with that plant as a. Oh, yeah. That would yeah. be great. Oh, have a look at it. I will. Have a look at it. <laughs> I will. Yeah, there you go. So, oh, and apparently Grayson Perry used a Cintiq on his TV program as well. And Kyle Webster did a stream about the multicolor swatches last week. So, there we go. Fab. So, yeah, superb. Amazing. Anyway, sorry, we've chatted away far too Well, oh, no. I've, I've distracted you for far too long. Let's, no, no, no. let's see some more stuff. That's what, that's what people really want to see. That's what people really so, want to see. I'm is. actually going to, what am I going to do? I'm actually just going to look at 
Mm. We want to talk about some other projects, but I'm trying. Okay, to that's cool. Fast, what's the best thing to do? Um, no, do you know what I'm going to do? Is and and this is not like to be selling shop things, but I do think some of the stuff in my shop is like been what's re been really what's actually really helped me in terms of an illustrator. Like you say, obviously it's good for revenue, but it's also just amazing to see what people have liked. So my the so the Angela Davis thing we already spoke about. Yeah. But those prints with or have like all proceeds going to charity. Mm. Um, this Know Your Power Lady has been by far the most bought thing anyone's ever purchased from me, which is really nice. Oh wow. Yeah, it's 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 weird what you kind of things you do you draw that you think will do really well and other things you draw that do really well that you had no idea would. I love that patriarchy is exhausting. Yeah, yeah, these these ladies do pretty well as well. Yeah, and you know yeah. what I love is when people um, buy the postcards and they ask me to write on the back and send them to their friends. That is my absolute favourite thing. Um, girls don't want boys, girls want equal pay. And that's a personal favourite of mine. Yeah. And one I wanted to talk about, which might be a bit further down. Um, here take we go. Take care, Doc. <laughs> yeah, take deck care, Doc. See you soon. Yeah. Any Midlands people will know. Midoc. Take care, Midoc. <laughs> oh, can't wait to see my grandparents. That's the first thing that they'll say. <laughs> Take care, Doc. And um, these ladies here. So this one was like way back when I very first um, started kind of illustrating. And I actually did this for a brief that was what inspires you. Um, mm. Which going back to that question earlier. And... It was for an old publication called The Debrief, which is closed now, but it was kind of like a women's online news um, website. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we I entered this and won the competition. And I think and now every International Women's Day, this image kind of like gets shared around the internet so much, but it's really lovely. Um, and I guess just reinforces what I was saying earlier, like constantly inspired by the women around me, very... Yeah. Very true. But yeah, these this was one that really kind of catapulted me forward actually at the time. Like it's quite great. a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I think in terms of like when you're you know, that's the thing to, to mention when you're starting out, if you know competitions feel right for you, they can do really good things. Obviously, mm. there's a lot of chat sometimes about ones that don't aren't right, but that was mm. one that was really right for me and, and really helped, really. Other nice. Things will get better with from the lockdown diary, which is nice. There's um, there's a lot of people, by the way, saying uh, a up duck. <laughs> oh yes, a up so duck a -up and uh, tar duck. <laughs> oh yes, these and, uh, are my people. And Sandrine, who uh, who is uh, who is French uh, by birth, is saying, yeah. "I have no idea what is this duck thing." <laughs> oh, so, so take care, duck. See yeah. you soon, duck. Tar duck. Duck is like, how would you? Just a lovely waiter. I don't know. Something to say. It's to just a thing. It is just it? a Midlands thing. It is Do you know there's a, there's a book thing. called A Up Midduck? In fact, there's a series of books called A Up Midduck. And they're about Ilkeston, which is across the border in Derbyshire. Like, yeah, and near Kimberley, where we both yeah. lived. Yeah, um, my grandparents live in Ilkeston. Right. Well, a, the A Up Midduck <laughs> books were written by my communications lecturer. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and I... they're all about that specific that area because its language is slightly different to everywhere else yeah. in the area i've got weird words for things like clouts for trousers and yeah. jitty for alleyways and i'd say jitty I think... yeah why is she scraping <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what does that mean <laughs> yeah that is funny i think some i didn't realize when i went so i went to university in bournemouth and i hadn't really realized until i moved that i had an accent never mind said weird things can we discuss the cob situation? Cobs, cobs versus rolls. Cobs versus rolls. It if I'm down here, I'll say roll. If no. I'm up there, I'll say cob. Yeah, you have to. You ha yeah. I still say cob, but half the time people are like, what are you talking about? As That'll be a new illustration that I'm going to make. It's called a cob. You Do you know, as we face. drive up the A1, <laughs> as we drive up the A1, and I'm talking to my wife, quite often she will say to me, Do you know, the closer we get to Nottingham, the more northern you become. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, I'll come home after being home, because I live in London now, but yeah. after being home for a week and my accent will be 10 times stronger. 
It's it's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely <laughs> it is crazy. crazy. Uh, somebody else has thrown BAPS into the mix. No. Uh, people that, it's, just, it's just so amazing how responsive people are to these yeah. little things. I'm, uh, yeah. No, I, I'm, a, I'm with you on BAPS. Rolls. No. What it's is just the no. one? Um, yeah, BAP, coal, coal, Barn cake? Rolls. Barn cake. Yeah, that's Yorkshire. Yeah. That is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jane's saying, it's a cob. <laughs> it's a cob. Thanks, James. I Apps agree. versus buns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, confused English as a second language noises. <laughs> yeah, from, I, I appreciate that. Tim. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. What are they talking about? What is a cob? Yeah, I know. It's just, just, just one of <laughs> those things. Crazy. Oh dear. There you go. It's funny how these things, these things spark. I am going to be writing this in my ideas notes on my phone after this. It's you should. People for it's called a cob. And we can make some variations for other ta- other people if you know. Cob versus bun, and of course it's that. Th- then you can open up the whole scone scone scone. Oh gosh, thing. yeah. <laughs> it's only was... scone in Scotland, by the way. Scone, or, oh, or if you're travelling in time back to 14th century England, in which case that's <laughs> it's acceptable there as well. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, back to your back to Sorry. your. Sorry, uh, yeah. So oh, I just more noticed Nottingham. it, and I more Nottingham love. resist it. Then you've got other things in here. Obviously, some sassy quotes because why not? Have you ever muraled? Have you ever? No, and you know what? That is a huge, huge um, goal of mine is to do a mural. Just a bit further back up towards your um, your uh, your uh, duck um, card, just there. That, oh, there it is, just down a little bit. There's a lot, two lines of women. Oh, uh, these ladies. Yeah, colourful ladies art print. The one you mentioned Love actually her. earlier. Yeah, I could totally see that as a oh. as a long walk mu- mural. Yeah, I would love, would love to. I, do you know? I've ha- nearly had a couple of things, a couple of murals come in, but they just kind of fell through in the end. Was, fingers crossed, we were doing one, but then we had this lockdown situation and it didn't happen. Yeah. The time will come. I feel positive about it. Um, yeah, I'd love to. Absolutely. Love I to. think your work would be amazing yeah. on walls. I think it should be on walls. And I think you, you know, I did a. Um, I'm gonna get my. I haven't got my Instagram up here as an automatic link because I ha- I actually did a pattern of these. I kind of got all the ladies that had been from my other illustrations and put them all together on a pattern, um, which is the one that I'm hoping to get put onto fabric actually. Um, oh wow! Yeah. I have all these and then all ones from kind of different illustrations I'd done as well, like they're walking around, which is really nice. I just think these are excellent. Just so so excellent. Yeah. You could have those individually on cards as well as on a set, couldn't you? you could. Yeah, you could. And, and if you've got them there already and I haven't seen them, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I haven't actually. I hadn't even thought of that. But yeah, this is back to the kind of this is like my ideal illustration. Different, you know, different kinds of ladies, different colours, pattern everywhere. Love it. It's my fave. Oh. It's my fave. There you go. I'm just going to ask. I'm just going to answer a question from the chat, by the way. Go on. Uh, just, just for a moment, so for Steve, who joins us from uh, New Zealand, wants to know: Does anybody in the UK or Europe know what a metal road is? And I've got to answer that question because I love pub quiz. <laughs> <laughs> a metal road is a road that's had tar macadam on it, Steve. Um, metalling is the process of pounding down the road until it's a hard surface to add tar macadam on top of it. So I believe. Uh, so the metalling of a road is the last process before the tar. There you go. Super. Fun fact. <laughs> fun fact for you. I did not know that. There you are. This is news. <laughs> fun facts are all... <laughs> In this time of lockdown, everybody's doing Zoom quizzes. It's all yes, helpful. <laughs> they are. That is true. That is very true. Full of random knowledge now. There we go. Right. Anyway, carrying on. So sorry. No, no. That is completely fine. Completely fine. Um. There we go. Some more ladies for you. Oh, I like the future is female one as well. Oh, gosh, yeah, this is one of my very. Uh, this is one of the very first prints I sold. Still on here. Yeah, probably a good few years later. Um, that's really yeah, lovely. I love yeah. the treatment of the hair there as well. Yeah, I think that's like a. Yeah, yeah. It's strange, isn't it, when you look back? Because I think this is a, yeah. When you look at your process over time, you know, this is a yeah one of the first things I really, mm. really, really worked on. It's not changed that much, but then I guess you still see yourself develop, which I think is nice um, compared to then. I think it's almost the yeah. nod to, um, in, in the treatment of that hair, mm. the way I'm seeing it, is almost a nod to Alphonse Mucha, mm. you know, from there. Do you see that? 
A little bit, yeah. 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 It's nice. Mm. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, right, the roads thing is, is, is clear. Oh, up is now, it so that's now? really good. <laughs> We're good <laughs> on, on the roads. 100 points for Lord Tony. Thanks, Julia. <laughs> Maybe we need to create a pub quiz on Discord, says Kirsty. Kirsty, if you want to do that, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'm sure loads of people at the moment would love it. Anything to distract us. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we need. This is what we need, indeed. But yeah, if you've got serious questions for Emmy that don't relate to roads, cat rehoming. <laughs> cat rehoming. We've got a little cat going on here as we were talking about cats. Yeah, cat oh. rehoming. Find Willow. So that was what the cat's name is. Oh. Yes, that's every name. Yeah. Yes, there we go, really. Lovely. Be back. Mm. Yeah, that book really does. I can see what Robert meant. That book really does. Mm. Really does pop, doesn't it? Yeah, so I guess I got I this one, and then I had the Worth a Thousand Words at the bottom right, which is a um, book cover I worked on for Macmillan. Mm. It's like a young adult book cover. Yeah. I've got a couple more, which I'd love to be able to show you, but obviously. I can't. Um, they are in the uh, works this year, which is super exciting. Nothing That's... like seeing your work in print, I have to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still gorgeous. It's, it's not, yeah, not quite the same any other way. No. Um, Catherine loves your composition, by the way. Oh, thank you. I take that as a huge compliment. I think really... the thing I struggle with the most is composition. Um, yeah. You always get there in the end. Do you find that's easier, though, on something like Fresco? Because, of course, you can move things out to separate layers and... <laughs> Do you, you can. Do yeah, no, I do. I do. But I think I think I what I'm trying to work on at the moment in terms of just skill is backgrounds. Um mm. I always find that quite hard. I think because I've work my work is predominantly like people based. That, you know, is like second nature to me. You know, what does this person mm. look like? Do they have freckles? Do they have jewellery on? What colour is the hair? You know, I that's all that's all cool. But when it comes to backgrounds, that's where yeah. I I struggle and it's there's, there's a tendency as well I think an easy thing in something like fresco to overwork your work um you can keep going and going and going and going before you think hold on a minute step back is this too much is this was this finished a while ago um but yeah but yeah thank you it's I'm working on it do you do all the all the so a lot of people I do this myself I don't know about I don't know about you do, do you do the thing where you kind of flip it over upside down leave it and leave it for you know 10 or 15 minutes go and have a cup of tea or a wander around and then go back and have it positioned so it you you it's the first thing you see do you ever do that no i don't flip it, i do sometimes flip it sideways yeah i think especially with portraits see if it looks right sideways or if i've, I've drawn it with <laughs> yeah i think it's just changing an angle because i think it yeah. i think otherwise you just look at it and you're not really i think you stop seeing it at a certain mm. point you just be get get really down into the weeds with with details and by that i could mean just coloring in or or actual mm. detail work yeah and i no, think so just true. that thing i just feel more comfortable if i flip things upside down or mirror them temporarily yeah. walk away and have a look yeah and just see if it works that way around yeah just curious. No. no i don't but i think sometimes back to front in fact should we go on to fresco i've just realized the time were we meant to have done that before uh, no, we can do that any minute. We've got a oh, good, um, we've got about 10, 10, 12 minutes left. We can go over a little bit if you need to, but we yeah, can no. do a bit of fresco stuff if you want to. That would yeah, be lovely I, if you yeah, don't want it. Should we do that? Should we yeah, do let's that? Let's do that. Okay. So yeah. I, because I had prepared these ladies. Um, okay. Um, just also in the chat, uh, there's a couple of people disagreeing. Oh, Robert's going off to pick up his daughter, see for the Tony Harmer show. There is no Tony Harmer show tomorrow. I've got a new thing. No more Tony Harmer shows. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. No, no. Oh, that's all right. Tim's managed to put that in. Uh, so that's really good. Yeah, perfect. We'll be back tomorrow though with Carl Wilkinson, but we're still here with Emmy right now. So come on. <laughs> Oh, Harry puts uh, new drawings in a place that uh, so that position so that they're the first thing he sees in the morning. Interesting. That's, I that's quite a like new that. eyes thing. That's mm. it, yeah. Sometimes I think it is important to, to go away yeah. and come back to it. And you yeah. know, sometimes as well with with something like fresco, things can. It's not like when you have a sketchbook and you 
you know, you go back and look through it. And then sometimes I will go back, I'll be like, oh, there's loads of unfinished illustrations in here that I then go back to quite a long time later. And then I'm like, this is great, which I at the time probably would really thought was rubbish. Yeah, but, no, share that thing as well. So here we are. Here we are, here's my ladies. Um, yeah. yeah, so I guess in terms of colour palette, this is like colour palette I was going to be working with. And then I'll just add to that if I feel it needs more over time, I guess. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would, oh, what's this, what's this, baby? This is the problem. What, what are you? We don't want you. Go away. <laughs> okay. Do you know, I know it's really handy that in front, and there's only a certain amount of user interface that they want mm. uh, in the application because it can become intrusive. But one mm. thing I really would like just tucked down on the right hand side of the screen there, you know, they're like they have the recent swatches underneath the color picker. Yeah. I'd love to see a version of that down the right hand side personally mm. because everybody else does exactly what you've done there. You create a quick yeah. swatch of all of the colors so you can quickly sample them. Yeah, I so see what you mean. Yes, yeah, so I mm. guess this is like what I've been looking at in this within this illustration. Yeah, and if it just kept the last five or six, that would be really cool. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you can suggest that one. I might do. <laughs> well, you <laughs> so, do it. You'll, you'll have more clout than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Oh, hello. Um, Owen. On there. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, because your cursor was just on just a tiny bit more, just a bit more over to the left. That's it. We're good. Sorry, good. I didn't notice that. Your cur your cursor from your machine was over the top there. That's good. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Tim. In the, Tim in the Thanks, air. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> so I thought we'd just, like, fill these out a bit whilst we're chatting. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think the colour colour thing is a bit of a weird one, really, isn't it? Because... Mm. On here, but these are the colours that I've used. Do I want to see them all the time, though? This is the other thing. You might mm. know if you would. Yeah. I'll get. I'll get mixed up. Tim is actually Tim. Tim is reminding me and the chat that uh, you can actually detach the colour palette out. But I think that's that's the whole thing. I think actually, which is oh fine for me. I think is super intrusive. But, but Tim will correct me if I'm wrong there. Mm. The, um... <laughs> Still a little yeah. bit of a chat going on about scones, believe it or not. Oh, what are people saying about scones? Uh, if Paul Weller and Eric Clapton were playing a gig in Cornwall, who would go on first? How is uh, that to do with scones? I do not know. So if Alex, if you'd like to demystify that for us, Tell that us, would please, be Alex. absolutely wonderful. The, uh, but yes. Interesting. Uh, what yeah, some people uh, hang their photos up and uh, look at those afterwards, check those out, which is good, because photos, like anything else, I guess, have to be cropped. Um, I think as well, like maybe printing something out, like if you're working on your iPad or you're working on your computer, I hmm. print, print, print them out sometimes and put it on the wall and then it's there yeah. to see. I think you forget when you work on a computer how important actual physical you know, seeing it in person is. Yeah. You put everything on your wall and see what colours do I actually use? What, what you know, mm. things like that. Anyway. Um, the uh, the joke has just been, it's a joke, the thing about uh, Paul Weller and Mark Knopfler. It's uh, because they're jam and cream. That were their band. That, that was, oh. I'm starting to sound Nottingham now. I was going, oh, that were their bands. Really so <laughs> <talk to me. laughs> Jam and cream. Oh, you know, there you I, go. I, ba boom. I should have got, got that, but I didn't. Oh, outrageous. Yeah. Oh, Tim's Tim's telling me that you can drag out the entire panel, but you can minimise the unwanted parts. Good tip, Tim. Thank you very much. This is Tim, good, Tim, the amazing tip person in my ear. Such there we good. go. Um, now this is where we get weird with the colours. So, like, got some colours going on here. Hmm. But whatever goes onto these people's tops is going to like take up quite a lot of space. Where are we going to go with it? What should we do? I don't know. Oh. That's the question. Go crazy. I don't, stop, I don't know. Stop. <laughs> I don't know. I, ooh, I think the one down at the bottom in the centre, just there as a base. For Dark at green. least one of those, yeah. 
Maybe for the girl with the red hair. The dark green. This yeah, one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the one in the middle. Yeah. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. That's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that would look. One of my daughters has got red hair like that, and when uh, she wears, she always looks stunning when she wears uh, greens like that. I love. I I like her red hair is one of my favourite um, mm. colours to draw. Or I feel you can find a lot of my illustrations have kind of a lady with a really kind of orangey toned hair. It's my fave. Yeah, I think that works well. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Mm. I like it with the other. This is this green that I was talking about. Right, okay. Everywhere, this kind of warmer green colour. Um, oh, well, in that case, it's doubly perfect now. Now we like a green. <laughs> we do like a green. Um, do you have any yeah. favourite brushes that you use? Well, do you know, do you, or do you have like yeah. a couple of go-tos that... Yeah, I do. So I have... This is, I think, like a... Gouache, gouache, you know, I never know how to say it. Gouache, yeah. Um, gouache, color. That, that, this is, yeah, kind of like a gouache, but I always use the, this one, old nib okay. for my lines. Mm. And, or I would like put up the smoothing a bit and use that. So that's so all the kind of outline here mm. will always be with that one. I used to like it, like I you always used to draw when I was younger with like fine liners. Um, yeah, yeah. like it to kind of mimic that. And then, yeah, I'll have the gouache ones as kind of to fill in. We'll have this smudge number for blush. And then I really like, so like the hair on this lady has been done. I've filled it in and then masked it and gone over with the watercolour, mm. which I really like. I think that works really That's well. That's got a nice, yeah, um, nice variation. Yeah. So I guess as well here, like what's nice as well, you know, it keeps with the colour wheel. You can just do a tone. Shall we... A little blush here. Yeah. Mm. So that last ten minutes is uh, is nearly gone. We've, we, we've I can't believe how quickly that's gone. I just <laughs> that's crazy. Look, looked across at the screen. And thought, oh my word! We're okay, by the way, to carry on for a few minutes over if you want. So we're, we're good. I'm we're good. Absolutely however, good. However goes really. Well, let's go for another. Let's go for another three minutes. So we go to the top of the hour. Let's go to uh, another three minutes. There. Yeah. I would. I would like some thoughts on the final colour to go in here. Um, right there, you got that's that should be what um, we should be asking the community yeah, for. What, How, did, what do people think? Yeah. What you don't have to choose one of these colours for the top, it? right? For the, for the for top, the top. For the top on yeah. the second lady. Yeah, that's what we want to know. So come on, people, get your suggestions in. <laughs> let's find those. Our vote. Mm, absolutely. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to read them to you as they come in. Okay. Uh, so uh, Chris is saying yellow. Sandrine is saying maybe a red. Mm. Uh, Juliet is saying aquamarine. Oh. Mm. See, my go-to was probably going to be... Yellow again. We've got yellow. yellow. Again. Yeah, yellow. Well, I've got two for yellow. So at the moment, oh, Catherine's just chipping in with peach. Um, mm. I think yellow, actually, because I think yellow would I work. think yellow, and I think we're going to go with this. And also we've got, we've got some yellowish. Uh, yeah, we've got yellow in a few places, like in the flowers. That would be a really nice yeah. balance with that, I think. We have indeed. Yeah. And if Jane's saying mustard yellow, well, I think that kind of is sort kind of Kind of is, mustardy. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We like yeah. this. We yeah, like Chris is saying more like mustard, so there we go. It's working really well. Uh, Kirsty thinks blue or a blush pink, but I think we're actually going with the yellow now. So we're going really with good. the yellow. <laughs> we are. It's on. It's being laid right now. Yeah, it's <laughs> happening. Oh, what are you? Do I love when you've got a random thing from another layer sneaking in there? <laughs> no. Where have you come from? Oh, no. And then you have to go through the layer dance oh, of turning layers on and do. off. You do, honestly. That is, you find where it is. that is the bane of my existence, I tell yeah. you. That's what, that's do what, it. We need a find random thing algorithm. <laughs> we actually do. And where are you? What, literally, where are you? That's going to take me ages to find. <laughs> oh, God. It's in there. Um, for the community, uh, so we'll be yeah. we'll be wrapping up fairly shortly. So yeah. uh, just to remind you, it doesn't have to end here. While the stream may close out, of course, we have our Discord where you can join us. We can chat together. People can share their work. Quite often, uh, Emmy, people do actually work along with you as they're okay. as they're watching you will That's have nice. doubtlessly some people on here 
working away on their iPad. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes they emulate someone's style. Other times they experiment with it. So they post those things there. So do join us. And Tim's pop the link into the chat for us. If you're not seeing uh, that in the chat, then the chances are you're watching on YouTube. And what you need to do is quickly pop across to behance.net slash Adobe Live, where you can actually see the community chat, which only exists for a short while after the stream has ended. Discord goes on and on and on. There we are. Um, tomorrow, Aww. I'll just wrap a couple of things up here, Emmy, before we say goodbye. That looks, I think that works really, really yeah, well. Yeah, it was good. Thanks, guys. Yeah, really good. Like um, and we'll have to have you back. You'll have to come back. And a few people have asked that already in Aww. the chat. So you'll have to come back and join us again. <laughs> So it's really good. Of course. Um, and uh, yeah, so tomorrow it's uh, Friday Fry Up with Kyle Wilkinson. There we are. That's what's happening. I'll be here, but I won't be doing stuff. Kyle will be, uh, which is super good. Um, but Emmy, any uh, any last things you'd like to say uh, before we close out? Uh, keep drawing, people. <laughs> there you are. That's that is the That's best. That's what thing. I would like to say. That Thank you so much for having me. I have one thing. Hi, stream. This is the voice from the above, <laughs> Timia. Yeah? Emmy will be back next week, actually, for a show oh. on Tuesday. Yes, I actually will. So I actually will with in. yeah with Rachel Presky. You ah <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. And of course, I'm totally up to date with the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know it's very, it's been very you know it's it's only you know it's been recently decided so I don't blame you but yes I will actually be back on Tuesday. How oh, you? that will be awesome! So there you are, Emmy will be back next Tuesday. That is absolutely fantastic. For now, though, everybody, we are pretty much wrapping up uh, for today. Thanks ever so much for joining us, Emmy, and spending some time with us, sharing uh, Thanks, insights into into what you're doing and sharing along a bit of. Uh, your process just there which has been really really lovely uh, don't forget join us on discord everybody but we will be back tomorrow here in the uk between 12 and 1 so for now then stay creative and see you later bye, bye.